Hi there everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jackie McKissick and today we are... have no idea what we're doing. So basically, I'm going to try and put together some quick cards. Okay, so at the side of my desk I have a set of four drawers. And in this one I keep backgrounds that I've made um, not used and um, stuff that I've foiled you know, mainly background stuff and stuff that I've foiled because I got a foil press for Christmas pretty, you know, enough of that and then in this other drawer we have general, which means anything and everything. So this bag has got Halloween stuff in it. Oh, this one's too big for one of those bags. It's got flowers in it, balloons, cute characters that I've coloured and never used. So you get the idea, those are accessories, men stuff. Easter stuff, you name it, I have it. So I'm going to try, to try and am amalgamate them. Hey, hey. And I've also got out my word dies. These are just generic word dies that I get from anywhere and everywhere, and I just keep them in there so that I know I don't have to run through 20 sets just to find one die. So let's get ready to rumble. What shall we do first? What shall we do first? We'll get out, we'll take a look at the flowers. Take a look at the flowers and see what the crack is. Ooh, look, pretty flowers. Ooh, pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like that one. That one's pretty. Oh, I like that one. I like this is stuff that I have coloured and cut out on my scan and cut and never used. Ooh, there's a nice big one. Ooh, look, that could go on. That must be something. Oh, yep, maybe. Yep, fits on there by the looks of things that you could pop up. And there's nice yellow ones. Okay. So right, we'll go we'll go with we'll go with where's this? We'll go with these three and see if we can find anything that would that would work with them. Okay? From in here. So so I don't know, can you see that, all them little stars and that, that I foiled on in that background? Ooh, where's that orange bit? I wonder, did I already have that together to do that? That looks as if I already had pre-planned it. There's the word that comes out of there. I must have, I must have got it ready before and done nothing with it. So that's going to be one. Okay, what about this one? Oh, there's a nice purple and silver one. Oh, that would look nice on there with a nice word die coming off there. Okay, that could be two. Now, this pink one, could it just go on there? Them butterflies. Could it, could it, could it, would it, should it? There's a couple of pink ones. That one's not the right colour. It's either this one or this one. And I think it stands out better on the white with the pink. These are foiled on the foil press. Right, so... 
We shall go with this one that we had already prepared by the looks of things and we are just going to glue it. What I'm going to do then is stick some gems and that at the end, and that's it. Oh, all done. Right, what about this one now? Silver, 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 silver. Right, let's cut it down first to four by five and five eighths. This is actually a piece that I have foiled by the background guy, I think. So I have. Now, do I want to go straight on to white or would I like a little bit of colour behind it? Is the question that I am asking myself. To put a little bit of silver or purple and cut a word out of that then. That would do. I find a bit of purple card that I like, so I'm going to cut it down to four by five and five. And then I'm going to take this panel and cut it down three mil on each side. So four down three would be there. Okay, and that will give me a purple layer and a white layer, which is what I want. And I'm going to take one of these and stick it inside the card. I've seen a couple of people do this on YouTube and it uses up your scraps and it gives your inner a little bit of detail and a little bit of coordination. Would I want to go across the bottom maybe? Let me see if that's anywhere near even right I think that's us so right we want to cut our sentiment out of this so we need to find one that we like that, that, that fits Aside. One that doesn't get lost and doesn't overpower. So, as usual, you're looking for a happy medium. Sunshine, hello, XOXO. XO. That's very big, that one. Thanks. It's a bit 
chunky. It's a little bit chunky. Ish. So I did my die cutting. I stuck my layers on and I'm not sure I like that. I think my wish kind of fades away too much. So I did cut a white one and I think that stands out more. So that will be what we use. So, there we go. I think I need a bit more under you. Sorry, but I do. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oops. I know these bits are so fernickety, there's not a darn thing I can do about it. But, fast forward it. That's if I decide I even bother editing. I'm not very good at editing. So it's in this one not. Tyler says to me, who edits your videos for you? I said, nobody. He says, that's why they take so long then. Yay, thanks Tyler. But at least it means he watched them. Go me. My little cutie tooty fruity she is. And he's going to the high school next year. Oh my word, I can't believe my beautiful blonde baby is going to a high school this year. <laughs> Right, I'm taking this towards me again because I want to make sure I get it in roughly the same place because they left, when I lifted it up, they lifted off a bit of the foil. So that's card number two apart from the gems, which I'll either show you doing all at once or you'll see them in the pictures. Right, now let's put our lid on till we decide what we're doing with card number three. Okay, I found a bit of pink card and I'm going to once again cut it down to four, five, five and five eighths and then take my topper down three mil. So if that goes down to five, five, then that goes down three mil under that. 
So it would go to four. And I'm cutting off both sides because there's a white bit and I am leaving. Getting rid of much of the plain white bit so that there's bits of the pattern in most of the places. Okay. So then I wanted to do that. Now, what did I do with this ink stay? Did I put it away again? Possibly. So I went ahead and cut my links out of the middle of my card as usual. Now we're going to do the gluing. gem -tastic them. So this is our box of goodies. Our box of goodness. Right. Red and yellow and pink. <coughs> Sorry. Did anybody else do that? They're sitting crafting and they just start singing for no darn reason. Let's see if we put one, one of it there and one there and one up there. There. Okay, we're going to go for broke. Right, and I'm going to put some of these. Um, rhinestones. I couldn't remember the darn name of them, rhinestones, that I got in a Positively Papercraft kit. Okay, and one more up there is required. Right, so card number one. Here, I am liking this. Three cards in under an hour. Go, 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 me. I think I shall do some more. Whenever I'm off camera. We're not really sure what we want on this. To tell you the truth. So we're just going a. We're just going a. Go with the flow. White. White, white, white. Right, um, you know, a little one, a little pink one, I think. Uh, 
And the little pink one in there as well. And that's card number two. Now, I am going to admit to something online. I have enough nouveau drops to start a shop with. And I never use a darn thing. <laughs> because I don't have the patience to wait for them to dry. I want my card to be finished immediately, if not sooner than before. No, 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 no. Orange. Do we have any orange? Red, orange. Red, orange and yellow. Red, orangey. This is as orange as it gets, I think. Hmm. Yellow. We'll try this. This big boy here. Here we go. I don't know what to do. Okay, folks, there you go. Gems and all on them. Three quick cards made with what I had already prepared in my stash. I hope you liked the video. I'd love you to give me a thumbs up, to subscribe, to share the whole kit and caboodle. It would be much appreciated. Till next time. Jackie out.